We're back, YouTube. Thanks for tuning in. As always, I appreciate that. Today, let's review Limerick, Cadence, Mansion. Now, this is a first-person puzzle horror game, and it features a puppet that's spooking you around in this mansion full of puzzles. And that sounds very appealing to me. I am a great fan of games like Seventh Guest and Eleventh Hour. Again, a mansion with puzzles and this overlord trying to distract you, trying to scare you, that sort of stuff. Now let's talk about this game then. Well, the story. It is here, but it is told through a huge amount of notes that are literally plastered all over the place. And that stuff is just not immersive. I'm okay with some notes here and there, but most of the time, just don't tell me things. Just show me the things that happen in the world. Now, the graphics, I have to say, are all right. I mean, it's not going to win any prizes, but it's going for that Bioshock, uh, Dark Descent kind of look, and it does look kind of creepy at times, but the level design in this game is extremely flawed. I mean, it's messy and it lacks a lot of polish. Just a small example, we have this seal on the floor that is clipping into the walls. I mean, all the seals are clipping into the walls. It's a small thing, I know, but it is distracting for me. Also, the levels are confusingly laid out with a lot of similar looking corridors everywhere. Now, this might be very intentional so that you lose your way in this place, but it is mostly irritating in my opinion. Add to that the vague objectives that you get, like go north but you don't have any compass or map to show you the way, or somewhere a door opens, so you ask yourself, okay, where is that? Where do I need to go? Also along the way there are some pretty boring enemies you will encounter, and some can be killed with your pistol that you get, or, or your magic something spell that you also get, but others you can't kill, but you don't know. And there's this spiky ball that sort of follows you around and you need to hide from it. And there are also panic rooms to get into. I mean, I like that idea, but it's more irritating that the enemy is sort of following you. It's not very scary. Now, the puppet itself, the limerick, hardly makes an appearance and when it does in a certain location where there are multiple puzzles to be solved it is not very scary and again more irritating and this is something that is quite disappointing you know the, the limerick does not talk it doesn't do limericks at all you know it would have been great if it would do limericks to give you hints on solving the puzzles something like that so that you actually feel that this limerick is in control of you more or less now talking about the puzzles they are not much fun to solve mostly they are order puzzles so you need to put things in a certain order and it is quite disconnected from what is going on in the mansion now the stress that you feel because of the enemies are stalking you is kind of artificial especially when the game wants you to solve a puzzle multiple times over yes it does that and that again makes the whole thing feel irritating it makes you feel like you are the puppet and maybe again this is intentional in its design but it is not much fun you know it is nice though it is nice though that you can auto resolve puzzles so you don't get stuck too long as enemies stalk you around more games should have that option but again that doesn't mean it is a fun game it, it, it's still a irritating slog in my opinion and it's really unfortunate because the idea is just amazing you have this mansion with all kinds of different rooms and whatnot and puzzles and there's this enemy that stalks you around but in practice it's just not for some reason and you can tell that the developer has put in all the love and effort into this project but it just falls short unfortunately so i don't think this is recommended at, not at full price if you get it on with a discount it might be worth it if you're into puzzling and you like the idea of this but i guess you know there are better 
options than this game, unfortunately. Anyway, these are my thoughts on Limerick. Let me know what you think, and see you in the next video.